Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. I want to start off this week by letting you know that if you're trying to track down one of the fisherman staffers uh, next week or perhaps you can't reach some of your tackle shop vendors and store reps, it just might be because they are down in Orlando, Florida at the International Convention of Allied Store Sport Fishing Trades, better known as ICAST. Now ICAST is the world's largest sport fishing trade show and annually hosting 7,000 people from the global sport fishing industry representing 63 countries. Yeah, you could really pretty much just take the uh, fishing shows that we all attend in the winter, multiply it tenfold, stick it in the sweltering heat of Florida in July, sprinkle in some fishing celebrity sightings, some brand new products, and you've got a pretty good idea of what to expect next week in person. While not an actual consumer show open to the general public, the fishermen will be there at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando all week working to track down the latest, greatest product innovations for 2017, 2018, and beyond. And then starting on July 13th and running through July 22nd, the Fisherman Magazine will present an exclusive first-hand look inside iCast with a series of daily email blasts from the show floor that will include first-look videos for some new products that are sure to be a hit for Northeast Anglers. So be sure to sign up today for our free weekly electronic newsletter. And if you haven't signed up, a direct link to the sign up tab is available in the YouTube card at the upper right hand corner of your screen right now. Okay, moving on into the reports. Going to start off as always in Connecticut where in between fireworks and grilling of assorted meats the last few days, fishing in Connecticut waters has been pretty good with a slight improvement overall being seen. Some larger fluke are being caught more towards the south and eastern end of the sound. And some large striped bass are finally being reported in the mid to western sound. Shops down that way all got word of some good striped bass in excess of 40 pounds, both caught lo and released locally as well as weighed in at the shop. So maybe, just maybe, we're finally seeing a push of big fish through the sound. And on in Rhode Island, uh, last week's video I said we might begin seeing some solid bass coming from out around Block Island by this week's report video. And while I didn't hear of any truly huge fish caught, there were enough fish in excess of 40 pounds to make things interesting. Primary target, however, remains fluke on the inshore grounds across Rhode Island with some legit doormats landed pretty much all across the state and a solid sprinkling of 8 to about 11 pound fish topped off the catches and should only continue to prove in the coming weeks. Now offshore wise reports are slowly coming in through some of our roadie contacts. The guys from Big Game Fishing Rhode Island decked their first Mako of the year early last week, a 200 pound shark and Snug Harbor reports some early bluefin being landed out at the horns as well as a couple of Makos popping up here and there in that area. Then up, on up into Massachusetts, striping, <laughs> striper fishing in the canal has been decent over the last few days, but not quite as good as it had been for the latter part of June. Uh, that said, a good shot of 30 pound class fish like the 35 pounder landed by George Douglas were caught there both day and night in recent outings. And up north, both bass and flounder are keeping anglers happy all around Cape Cod Bay. The North Shore of Massachusetts is producing some really, really nice striped bass right now with several in excess of 40 pounds weighed in at Surfland Bait and Tackle in the last week. These bigger fish are being caught both from shore and by boat and as well with both plugs and fresh chunks of mackerel, herring, and pogies producing. All right, well, there you have it. I am Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.